and this is gonna get ridiculous. Plus 20% damage, you can equip up to 12 weapons at a time. The trick is we lose 6% damage for every weapon we have. But when we have weapons with 40% lifesteal, I think that will probably balance itself out pretty well. 12 weapons is absolutely ridiculous. And especially if we get some power-ups that just put that damage right back, it's just gonna be on Fun Street the whole time. And that shouldn't be that hard to do. But we'll just roll with the upgrades we get. We might just stack a bunch of lifesteal, we might just stack a bunch of armor and health, or we might just stack RPGs and miniguns until the game breaks. Who's to say for sure, really? Tempting to take attack speed, we're gonna re-roll that once, and then we're probably just gonna take some luck. Okay, there's a lot here that I like. That's gonna save us a lot of money moving forward. For now, I think we're gonna take more attack speed. Oh, and also a shotgun. I can't do math, but we can actually afford that. Now we have four weapons, which is one third of the amount we're allowed to have, which still seems really, really stupid to me. But really, really stupid is why you're here. So far, this build is very good for clearing out everything. Uh, here's cake. We're gonna lose 1% damage for 3 HP. I'll take that trade, at least right now. I'm gonna put 5% damage back on. Why wouldn't we? And then we're gonna take plus two ranged damage because I think I'm probably going to put a lot of guns on this. Especially if we keep getting stuff like this. Here's a scope for plus two range damage, extra range. We'll lose some attack speed. I think that's worth it. Item prices are going to have to wait. An SMG, I do in fact want. I already forgot what we just added. I think it was just straight up extra ranged damage and range. And that's all good. The quicker I can kill stuff that's far away, the better. I, if it never gets close to me, it will never ever kill me. But that's also where things like shotguns and SMGs are going to come in handy. Because stuff will try and get close to me, so I just need big slow damage. I need short, little damage damage. I need all kinds of damage. I don't discriminate here. They're all welcome. Wish I had a rocket launcher there. I could have killed all of those. I don't want, uh, no. Uh, same with this. I think I could do better. Plus one range damage. Crit chance is also kind of nice. We'll take a bit of that. And then we're going to take cheaper items and an SMG. And then we're going to roll again, hoping to get lucky. There's a shotgun we will certainly take. But we're also going to take head injury. That's going to put damage back at the sacrifice of range. We have lots of range. Just stacking lots of guns adds range naturally, so we can sacrifice lots of that for damage and whatever we want. Wave 6, I think, is where it starts to get a little more difficult, but this is, if this is any indication of the future, I think we're going to be okay. I just heard a nice level up, so ow, ow, okay, we're still a little bit brittle. Uh, these red projectiles are actually really, really annoying because they just slowly float around the map and uh, really throw me off my game. And like that, I can't do anything. Like, I can't maneuver the red dots. They're just going where they're going. So that makes him really dangerous. Uh, luckily, I have an unnecessary amount of confidence still for some reason. So we'll just go ahead and add plus three range damage on top of all that. Oh, okay. And then look at this. We got a full board of everything we want. First, I want another medical gun for the healing. Then we're going to take another SMG. Then we're going to take the head injury. And we can still afford the shotgun. We're at minus 15% damage, but I mean... We have this many guns. I can't even count that high. Plus, we did this add the range to damage, so that's giving an extra 8 damage to every shot we do anyway. So add 8 minus 15%, we're still getting 6.5% extra. 6.5 damage, rather, not percent. At least I'm vaguely sure that's how that works. I don't really know. Well, what it looks like is a lot of damage to me, because everything is melting now. Not as much as I would like it to be, but I mean, we got a long ways to go and a lot of money to spend on a lot of unnecessary damage upgrades. So we'll just keep on keeping on. We're at uh, 225 dollars to spend. This is tempting to take a little bit of damage. I just think 5% damage will counteract that as much as we can. And then we're gonna take probably 6 HP. We kind of need the help. Okay, this run maybe just went into a really crazy spot with the piggy bank. 20% of your materials at the start of waves. Yes. So I'm gonna lock... Uh, these two and I'm hopefully going to be able to survive this run because as soon as we start we're going to get 20% on top of that so we're going to get an extra 28 materials so we're starting with 171 and the more money we have we're going to get 20% at the start of each round so as long as I'm carrying some kind of balance up there it's just like passive income our money's going to make us money so we just don't want to spend it all on any one run and I'm hoping we won't have to just because we have like 12 guns or we will I don't know how many we actually have now I can't count that high uh those viking guys are maybe going to be a problem as you can see they're a little bit tougher and they're pretty quick so we would need to work hard to avoid them so we could also use some armor and dodge but damage always uh <laughs> takes front and center with me ow and it's just gonna be a, that ever delicate balance of uh stupidity and wise choices oh but here we go let's go ahead and add uh three armor since we have zero that's gonna add yeah that's uh, basically a quarter less damage now i'm gonna try and do this carefully like i need to add damage so there's a level three shotgun that's gonna help i'm gonna save this pistol for next because i get 20 percent of that which is an easy 50 money and we just straight up added a 
level 3 shock into our arsenal. So that's tons of extra damage. Because that's going to do lots of damage and shoot a lot of things very close. Since you're asking, it does 13 times 4 damage every 1.08 seconds. Compared to a base one, you can see the difference. And that's going to keep the uh, clutter away in front of me. I do wish I had a minigun or an SMG to help with some of that, but we'll find one eventually. For now, I just need to collect all the money I can to keep my investment build going. Investment build with 12 guns. That seems ridiculous. Like eventually we'll be able to buy so many upgrades uh, for all 12 of our guns that uh, the game may conceivably break and I really hope it does. That's my goal. Like already if we were to start the next round we get a free $100 from that. And if we got that even higher we get a free $200. So eventually we could just live off the passive income. Mm, things are starting to wall in a little bit though so we are going to have to make a few purchases here and there. But uh, as long as our interest is growing each time we're doing well. Plus 2% lifesteal, minus 1 elemental damage. Yes, I don't care about elemental damage. We're not sacrificing range damage. We will go ahead and put 8% damage back on the board though. Now it's only minus 8. And we're probably just going to take 10% attack speed. Okay, we're going to combine that with another 10% attack speed. And maybe just one little pistol because that's a pretty cheap upgrade. And I'm going to combine that. Uh, I'm also going to combine a few other guns I didn't realize I could. The hardest part of this build is like seeing the things you can combine. Because that's going to put our damage back up to a positive 8. And we still have six very powerful guns. Mm, that's kind of tempting because that's going to help us make more money. But for now, we're just going to lock the shotgun and hope we survive. Again, because they're going to go from 600 to $700 just by starting the round. We did lose a lot of guns, but we did add a lot of damage. And we'll add some more guns as we can. But for right now, I just want to be sure to try and save up some money. Because even as it is, this is adding like, I don't know what it is, an extra 20% each round. And eventually that could be like a thousand percent more. And I really hope we get there. I just need to not do things like that. <laughs> Again, it is like... 3 a.m. so I'm a little tired. I didn't expect to be doing this. I just realized that there was a, a character that could hold 12 weapons and I thought, okay, we could work with that. More like we have to work with that. I'm starting immediately and I'm not stopping until we get this right. Okay, we are able to defeat the enemies, but kind of only just at this point. That's really scary. Okay. That was close. So I'm going to add another plus three range damage because uh, that's going to add a flat three. Then we have a thousand dollars officially. So if I was to start right now, we get a free two hundred dollars. But I need to catch back up in damage. So we're buying a level two shotgun plus one range damage. Then I'm going to reroll minus five percent item price is interesting. Is that going to be worth it on wave 11? Uh, I'm going to assume it is is because we're probably going to buy some expensive things and then an smg we're going to start with 750. there's so many things i would love to buy but i'm going to take the risk i've got to walk this fine line between not spending all the money and just scraping by damage wise but given the things i just added i think we're going to be okay i don't even remember what i added but i know it was a few guns which just means more damage and i do have a lifesteal gun uh but the red dots are back so i just realized it's as those guys die they launch the red projectiles to just slowly meander around which is really really annoying but we're back over a thousand easy dollars so hopefully we can keep that trend going. I wonder if you can stack piggy banks. We get 40% each round. That would break the game very quickly. Because if you found two or three or four of those, you would just make so much money every round that it would take you like five rounds to have a trillion dollars. Or approximately. I'm not a financial advisor. Okay, but so far the damage feels pretty good. I put us back ahead because I'm not struggling on this wave. I can feel it's not as easy as it could be, but I haven't spent a lot of money because I'm saving up for all that good interest like a good investor. Uh, 10% attack speed for 2% damage. What's our speed at these days? 23 yeah i'll take that but i might not take any more of those that's a shame it's rolled there the dodge is kind of nice give me something better okay give me something way better plus four percent hp regeneration probably okay i don't love any of these i might take a level two pistol though just because that's pretty easy because i'm going to combine that and a level three pistol is pretty good oh i'm also going to combine these into a better shotgun then i'm going to combine those into level four shotgun 25 times six with a 0.77 second cooldown so it's super fast i only have six guns so this is a risk i'm just hoping my upgraded guns can really kind of carry me through this and our damage is back up to positive six but I mean, even our SMG is doing 12, and it's like a level boring SMG. But this might be starting to push my luck. Level 12 is going to be not super easy to do. And this is on a slightly higher difficulty, so I don't really know how that's going to go. Money's going to get stupid though. We're up to $1,400 already. I'm hoping by the end we're up to like 10,000. We just get a free 2,000 every run. Uh, and then we can just spend that and not, uh, you know, we'll just keep making money off that. But it's going to not get any easier based on this. I might have to park myself in a corner pretty soon if this keeps up. Okay. It kind of died down again, which is nice, but I was worried for a second there. I'm worried again, and the worry is depleting. Stress levels are kind of balanced. I need a heart rate monitor. 
Maybe not. I think that would stress me out more and I'm already losing years off my life. $1,630. A uh, 50% chance to deal. Nope. Oh, but there's an extra 12% damage. So that's going to make up for two extra guns. So I'm going to buy a medical gun because I need the lifesteal. I need an SMG for just better SMG. Then we're going to reroll and I'm going to buy another medical gun because I really want that lifesteal. Those combine and then we'll reroll again. There's a pistol level 3 and a flamethrower. I don't know much about flamethrowers, but I know I want one. So the level 3 pistol is going to combine into level 4 pistol. Pistol does 75 and it fires every half a second. Oh, this med gun I'm maybe also going to combine for now. That way your damage stays in a positive. But the med gun does 38, but it has 52% lifesteal and then we're buying a flamethrower. Gonna reroll once just in case I find something like a laser gun. Man, we have all these guns again. And so far the damage seems pretty adequate. I think that level 4 pistol's gonna be a big uh, help to us. And we're just gonna slowly make more and more money. Because at this point, we're making an extra like $300 uh, just to start the run. That's going to turn into more profit at the end. So it's going to turn into more next round. As long as we don't touch the red dots. Don't touch the red dots. That is really annoying the way they work. They just slowly fan out and I can't kite them around or like I just have to deal with where they're at. So far so good though. I can tell the waves are going to get pretty hard though. So we might have to start spending into a bit of our profitability for a little while. That's just the way it has to go sometimes to be able to survive. But so far the damage is really really good. I could use like a level 4 RPG maybe. That would help clear things out. Or level 4 minigun or both. Uh, I need to remember too when the vikings charge me step into the red dots instead of get hit. Oh 4% lifesteal. I think I'll probably take that. That's just a really rare and good upgrade. Okay, I definitely want a laser gun level 3 because that's just huge damage. Then there's an SMG 3 which I definitely want because we're going to combine that into an SMG 4. So that does 18 damage and its cooldown is 0.11 seconds so that's going to go off a lot. Probably another flamethrower too because we can combine that and then we've eaten well into our profitability again but like I said it was worth it at this point. We need that extra damage. Even then I think I'm going to buy a medical gun just for the lifesteal. It's not going to add a lot of damage. In fact it's going to take damage away. But we're still even. We have nine guns. But we just added quite a bit of damage just in extra guns. And this is a good sign. That SMG is really going to help keep things at bay. Because it's just going to constantly fire damage out. So hopefully things won't touch me. It's kind of a shame this is on a bit of a harder difficulty. Because if it was on lesser, we'd probably have quite a bit more money now. Not that we're lacking. We have $1,500. We just need to make intelligent choices. Mm, yeah, this damage is really great so far. I haven't even actually really checked how much damage a flamethrower does. I just assume it's good by how it looks. We're probably going to need some armor and or dodge and or health though. Like one thing touches me and I'm in trouble. So yeah, we need to add some toughness. Which we can afford to do. We're up to almost $2,000. Kind of wish we added some other stuff. That would add 8 ranged and elemental damage. But the caps are health. That's super tempting because I would put our damage into Stupidville. Do I take that? I don't think I will. If I had more balanced build, that would be okay, but I need some toughness really badly. Like, I'm gonna take this for 5 max HP. I'm gonna spawn more trees to help keep me alive. I'm gonna take a medical gun for sure, because those are just gonna heal me. Then I'm tempted to take Tyler, spawn a little guy that slowly shoots 10 piercing lightning projectiles around. Uh, I need to make some surplus money. I'm just gonna go for it. I think I'll be okay. I think my damage is up there high enough now that we're gonna be okay. Plus I have 24 HP, so I feel a little better there. And I think a little more life still than I had before and more trees trees drop money uh and health both are things i very much like and need and we're starting to spawn those weird little turret shooter things uh the flamethrower is actually really nice like area damage it really helps to thin out those clusters uh, an rpg would be good too to also kind of clear that out but the shotgun's doing an adequate job also but i don't love seeing all that like if there was also a viking involved in that i probably would have got hit by something i did get hit by that uh, hopefully my lifesteal comes into effect. I don't really know what's happening right now. There's just a lot going on. Stress levels are rising, but so is our bank account. Yeah, I gotta make sure to take out those little turrets. So I might buy a few turrets of myself. $2,000. Plus 20 materials when you pick up a crate? Absolutely. Do we need more armor? Yeah, we probably do. Well, this thing came back again if we want more damage, but we do also have a level 3 rocket launcher, which I'm simply going to take without asking any questions. I have 11 out of 12 weapons. It's tempting just to get rid of some of these, like a base level SMG I'm going to recycle that's just hurting my damage overall. I try and go to power, I will take plus 20% damage. We're going from uh, minus 1 damage to plus 19. Add to that a double barrel shotgun and we're laughing. It's so stupid that we're starting this with $1,800. Like if we were actually to spend that, we would get so strong, but I 
I just really want to build up even more power. Especially if we can get more level 4 guns. We're doing pretty good with guns, but I want more level 4s. Uh, but so far we're making kind of a mockery of this wave. Yeah, they can push through a little bit, and obviously this is kind of a warning for the waves to come, but so far this really isn't a challenge to us. Mm, you very well might get there, especially with the little brain things, but yeah, our damage is so stupidly high that we're pretty much just melting everything as we walk into them. But yeah, that's kind of a slippery slope. It's only going to take a few waves to unbalance that and really ruin our day. Uh, the Vikings definitely hurt when they hit you. I'm hoping our lifesteal and stuff puts it right back on again in a hurry, but it's only going to take a few hits to kill us, so we need to figure that out. Waves done, $2,200 to our name. E yes. Plus two range damage, plus two, yes. 9% uh, dodge I will take because we have zero dodge currently. If I could just dodge a few things here and there, I would feel better. Plus two lifesteal, yes. So we could take an extra 10% damage. We'd lose 9% attack speed. I'm going to do that. Uh, I'm also going to take armor. So we now have a 44% damage reduction. So I'm carefully going to look through these items, uh, seeing what exactly we could work with. That's still very tempting at this point. And we found so many of those. I could have bought like eight of those and our damage would be in like absolute stupid bill because that would like our, our bonus damage is 14 that would add another eight on top of it yeah again i think if i had more like other types of weapons i would but there's some things we could use like a level three shotgun okay there's also a medical gun which combined with another medical gun to a level two and i'm going to combine those two into a level three medical gun oh and i'm going to combine those into level four medical gun so it's going to be fast shooting doing some damage at a 70 percent life steal uh i guess i'll also take xp gain maybe another medical gun i'm gonna knock a bit of my dodge off for more max hp and i'm starting to spend a little bit here because I know I'm going to need it. I think I'm going to lock this and just go for it. I'm still going to get a free $200 for uh, starting this, but our damage should probably be up there now because we just upgraded to a few more level four guns and we do have 12 guns after all. So I mean... I'd be surprised if damage wasn't there for us. And 32 HP, I feel better about that in a big way. Still gotta focus on killing the brain guys, because that's not a lot of fun when I walk into a cluster like that. I can definitely still get hurt and hurt pretty badly. I just really gotta prioritize who I'm killing. Some of our things are doing massive damage though. I wish I had a minigun. Minigun would make me feel better. Mm, at least I do have an RPG. I guess that's some consolation prize. This is a tight little corner to get into. I need to get to those brains every time I see them. Brains are just such a foreign concept to me. I don't know what to do with them. Oh, they're back at the $1,400 how about that speed is probably going to be necessary i don't think i'm going to take that after all i will take another double barrel shotgun though because that'll give me another, another level four double barrel shotgun i'm going to take another five max hp we're going to re-roll again and i'm basically going to take another two percent hp regeneration we're going to lose some luck but i don't have a lot of luck anyway so we currently have five level four guns which should be pretty good damage considering again that's five level four guns normally it's a little bit hard to get one or two and the enemies are definitely coming in fast now i'm just really hoping our damage is enough after all to take care of all these all otherwise i've just wasted a lot of time 12 guns is really overpowered though that's what i've come to appreciate 27 seconds left i'm feeling pretty confident but the end of the waves the last 15 seconds can be pretty stressful and uh, changing like even now it's starting to get a bit heavy but i do have a few thousand dollars to spend on things given a chance and i really do wonder if you can get multiple piggy banks because you could really uh do some compound interest and make stupid amounts of money can someone confirm that in the comments definitely not taking that and there's another plus two range damage Damage, which is a lot of my damage really and there's straight up a level four pistol so why would i not take that might start to spend a little more liberally now when i have the money unless i don't find anything fun because duh i mean the jetpack is pretty fun 15 percent speed 10 percent dodge but you, you lose so much max hp and armor that i think that's just going to get me into trouble and these are all stupid choices so i'm just going to move on to the next wave with my six level four guns <laughs> which is really a lot of fun i don't know much of flamethrower is doing because i haven't boosted any elemental damage at all all my damage damage simply comes from guns ranged bullets if it's not firing a bullet it's not upgraded even the rpg uh isn't really upgraded yeah i definitely need to take out those brains because those vikings are not gonna be fun i don't really know where they're coming from or what's happening i'm scared okay we're gonna skirt down along the bottom hopefully use some lifesteal to survive this i don't know what's causing the, the guys to go red. I can't see them. Okay, I see some brains over here. Again, they're a little bit of a foreign concept to me, so I don't recognize brains when I see them. I think we're going to be okay. I think our life still can actually carry us through this mostly, so we're just going to kind of headhunt the brains, or whatever they are, the popcorn things. Yeah, we seem to be putting our health back pretty quickly thanks to that lifesteal, which is good because I would have been very dead there. Not taking that. Also not taking that, and definitely not losing 5% dodge. That serves interesting, but no. I will take plus 3 ranged damage. 
Harvesting increases by an additional 10% at the end of the round. I feel like that would be something really good. You earn 0 materials and XP at the end of a wave, increased by 5% every time it activates. Yeah, okay, so that would be huge to find 10 waves ago. But no, I used up all my luck already. How many RPGs do I have? Just one? That's sad. That plastic explosive would have been fun. So I'm just gonna keep going through this, hoping to find something useful like a laser gun, which upgraded to a purple laser gun, which can combine into a level 4 laser gun, which does 231 damage. Which seems kind of stupid when I say that out loud. And a primitive torch is kind of funny. Uh, we might just take a level 3 pistol for now just to fill in something. Rerolls are definitely getting expensive, but I've got the money to burn. There's a shuriken that's level 4. This needs crits to really come alive, but it would be kind of funny to have an extra level 4 gun. But but I think I'm probably gonna risk it and roll again and that's fun. Do I want to add 25% damage and sacrifice the armor? I sure do. And we're gonna roll again for $118 which is really really sad. Alright then I'm gonna re roll for $127 but we're gonna find some fun items. Well I guess I'm gonna take plus 8 harvesting and lose damage there but that doesn't matter. I just want to buy something with my money. Now I'm out of money but we have 7 level 4 items. Absolutely bananas. I, uh, I gotta move. I was taking screenshots because I was so excited. Oh the enemy has a health bar now. Great. I don't think he's gonna last very long. And we finally have the speed to move out of his uh red dots. Oh, that was close. He's dying pretty quickly. I need to go get some health. That was stupid. Okay, I don't know what's happening. I'm scared. I see. He targets you with it, so you just can't move. Oh, well, that's not that bad. I can hit him from here because I have all the range. Hey, stupid, come here. There we go. Yeah, come closer. Yeah, I'm uh, definitely very strong because I feel like this isn't much of a challenge this time around. Mostly because of the 12 very strong guns. Mm -hmm.